Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last time we're going to do this. So this is this is not a difficult thing to do. Uh, the last time this about a month ago was done by a local mechanic who was a maintenance mechanic. All right, a guy who inspected emergency ambulance vehicles at a local hospital, general hospital, and did this. I don't know, maybe his entire life. It's, as long as I know him um you know he actually determined the whole thing about this vehicle according to MK Ultra hmm. he determined this thing according to MK Ultra and not according to the inspection only he had done it now this is what he stated to me for this here once I start doing this stuff, uh, everything will be decided before I even get to the car. And no, 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 everything already was decided before this video. Everything this was decided already before about this video. There were two more cars I've seen yesterday. Um, apparently they were picking up chestnut. It's a trail to Gorianzi to Tardino Berg and back. Very, very well known to politicians, uh, visitors here to Nova Mesta. One of those cars should have been actually even from Peter Kapsch. It was a, a white BMW and another one was a Mercedes. It's just like a newer models. Uh, I have no idea what kind of car Kapsch. Peter, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch has. Uh, should that be his car? Uh, another one that will belong to a judge or something like this or whoever, like a uh, high position. They both have something I've not paid attention to really. A license plate, maybe probably from Novo Mest or something like this. Um, I don't actually why I have not looked those cars because I don't hold these people in high regards uh, because it's not about these people it's about people in London yes this is not even about this is not about as I stated what I have done before I came here this afternoon uh, it's not even about this car. This is being already decided. Now the question here is how much of decision making, or I should say in decision making in the process, or I should say influence, the people from London would have. I don't like. I don't allow. That's why it's so important for me to make this video with such a precision. Because I don't want people who cook this shit. For the big part of it, uh, people who determine how they're going to bail out anywhere from police investigators whom they have hired for the crime against me, to other Slovenian politicians and everything in between. Uh, to be bailed out by you know how this stuff was anticipated this is going to be okay my mother told me on the MK Ultra she's going to talk shit about the car as soon as I bring one home so the police officer uh, who sold me this car this police veteran lady uh, would be even more triggered to assist me help me out She's concerned, and so on and so forth. These are the issues. Police officer, this police officer, supposedly the two did not get along. Well, they didn't get along well. Um, it's it's not it's not what it is. It's not that they didn't get along well. It's not it's not she and my mom. 
it's a Roma people that approached me who gave me the proofs about the car they they were offering me already solutions they like before I would even they knew this car they had this car in the shop the two Roma guys one that was involved in it another one who have like well, so he's got he's got a repair shop. I was in that shop. I shouldn't even know about that shop. Uh, and well, he is recycling materials and so on. What can I say? I told you that when you get so many proofs, when you get when you get so far, this case no longer is about. Um, whether this stuff is factual or is not factual uh, it becomes it becomes a matter of ability to either trigger in an individual a violent reaction through provocation which involved torture my mother is beating the crap out of I don't know what up there again so therefore using an insult or pull the individual deep enough so that he opens the road for some sort of conspiracy theory like if you remember what I stated about the power banks about the charger about uh, mp3 player how it blew one up and a bunch of other appliances like this that it would be all blamed on how you did not properly charge them one should be charged with a computer the other one should be charged through uh should not be directly let's say plugged to the wall and that kind of stuff so you get to the court and you stress to the court, you say, well, you know, judge, what's wrong with this car is this, 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 this. The stuff that I have written on the blog, that's basically blown gasket. That's basically valve cover, if you like, or I don't know how, oh, how do they say that? Uh, sealing. Yeah seal valve cover seal yes that's what it is and so the judge is gonna say well he's gonna say the judge is gonna say the judge is gonna say Well, what the fuck the judge is going to say? That's a good question. The mechanic I have spoken with is the most reliable guy because next to the Roma people, next to the people, God knows how many people that... You see this car? Have seen this car inside of the garage. In this garage. Oh, this car in this garage. God knows how many times, how many times this car, this car was in this garage. You see this here? Let me demonstrate to you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is not this is not easy stuff at all. The car that you have seen in the garage, the Citroën. You see this here? You see this this things here? This this stuff here? This 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 kind of stuff the garage behind me the car you're talking about the people here from the village they had a task and this car have gone as far as involving the ice trackers the ice drivers ice drivers the canadian professional drivers that would appear even here with the british and have teach me about how to 
it was a contest. They, they literally created the contest or, on how, you know, how this car is going to be here and it's going to be without, the battery is going to be dead and the only thing that's going to happen, you're going to have to push one inside of the garage yourself. How would you do this? How would you push the car inside of the garage? There is a slope here. This is a slope. And then at the entrance up there, it's, it's a bigger slope. And then they were playing with with uh, not with this not not with not with the pallet not, not with that kind of stuff but they uh they put the desks so that you could slide the car up there uh and it was people here neighbors it was the guy here uh another guy that was involved in it and he couldn't even put the car inside he needed like two three days something like this to push the car inside his back his spine was not broken okay what i was told if you're going to be pushing the car inside inside you're going to be rated as your spine not being broken we're going to say your spine is not broken when the fuck this happened 2010 you know what i'm talking about i'm talking about 12 years ago already they were playing with this kind of 2012 was not yeah 2000 and 2012 2012 something like this because the car got a gasket blown valve cover ceiling in 2011 uh, that's because because of the service they have done they have failed to replace uh, cooling liquid and as a result everything was done and they were about to do this stuff they have not done that it blew the gasket um, it was the whole fucking school here done with a scotty kilmer including and some other mechanics they came on how you're going to go and you're going to measure the surface of a gasket where the gasket comes to see if everything is even if it's even worth to do that kind of stuff how big the damage or how a bad damage bad was and this and that it was established that there was no damage it says on the paperwork the car had about 130 128,000 kilometers well likely if it got 128,000 kilometers there was no damage because well that's 90,000 additional kilometers that the car ran but I'm taking away that likely there was no damage damage obviously is when you have this kind of damage gasket blown gasket hat gasket it's always damage uh, it's actually just a question of a, how big of a damage is nobody can tell you how how much of a damage is how much of a damage was the owner guaranteed back then there was no damage and really the car still ran another 90,000 kilometers it appears to me today now you're gonna see how fucked up this stuff is if you think this is easy no think about all the issues that i have just mentioned right now this is how many times impossible for me to explain but it's probably one two three four five ten twenty scenarios different scenarios they involve in this in this fucking car alone in this in this stuff here in this what I am going about I'm about to record right now this is not this is not this is not just a an easy issue is actually I'm gonna tell you yeah it, it could be easy if you're looking for an easy solution the one that lost 28 years of life doesn't look I'm afraid for easy solution I am not interested today in easy solutions for me right now it's the 28 years I see in front of me and i'm not i'm unwilling to let it go
I am unwilling to let it go. I'm going to explain to you in continuation why, too. You're going to see I'm right. You wouldn't either. I'm 51. Uh, listen up, folks. The official scenario I should come up with is the one I have listed. That's a blown hat gasket. If you want seal between the valve, uh, between valve cover and engine, this is exactly what Scott Kilmer told me that's going to be. But Scotty Kilmer told me also it's an American mechanic involved in this case since probably 95 man who participated, I can tell you definitely participated, Hunger Games in Poland, he was there, that was a Texan, this is, was in Texas, from Texas, what was it, I don't know, Dallas, Dallas area, whatever, yeah, Austin, I don't know. I gotta look at the map again, boy. Uh, the thing about it is, he told me, and teach me about, no, the teach me, but he fucking learned about shit, just participating. It's because the mechanics, they got involved in this stuff, the people that all of a sudden appeared here. It's like, remember when I just stated to you, about the Canadian ice, track, uh, ice trackers, uh, drivers. It was all kinds of shit that you see on a YouTube, professionals and amateurs that all of a sudden start to circulate. Uh, as I stated, I was told all the time to regard to this as the highest MK Ultra profile ever. That started to circulate around this car here that you see. This started to get so fucking complicated that you have no fucking idea. But it's more complicated than what you possibly could imagine. If it's gonna, if it's, it's all gonna be depending. That was the first thing that triggered in me. It's fucking hell, man. Not only what he gave me the warning, there's another mechanic here next to the gentleman who inspected the car. Not a bad person, but it's another guy here, a mechanic here, Andre Uhl. I told you, warn you about this man who was involved in this crime since 95. It's not about him either, if this is not bad enough. <laughs> if he wouldn't have done it, they would have other people done it if you're gonna say if you're gonna say it's a hat gasket bone engine seal we're gonna do something else to the engine and it's gonna be more complicated okay this shit so fucked up as a matter of fact if you're gonna go and replace that, we're gonna do you some other damage. It's gonna be actually even worse. The car you're gonna buy, it's gonna be just as it was. You fucking tell this to somebody and he's gonna go insane. It's gonna be inside the garage, parked, going nowhere. Okay, when you're drugged up, when somebody tells you stuff like this, First of all, you don't take him seriously because it's too fucking insane. That's why it's, you know, F you, you know, saying this kind of stuff to me. But the shit like this, this kind of brainwash, man, this kind of brainwash went on for a solid eight years. You couldn't avoid one. You couldn't avoid one. Whenever they got me, whenever they got me, hijacked me, abducted me, they got an opportunity to brainwash at times over and over days in that fucking car. How are they going to fuck me? What are they going to do to you? 
It's like a little buggy scenario that's coming your way. And that's why I said, I'm not going to let it go this so easily. I'm not going to let it go at all when I stayed in London. That you cannot, you have no capacity, you have no ability whatsoever to avoid. It's called the restricted income. And there's nothing, not a fucking thing you can do about it. Restricted income, that's when you have police officers hired to engage in crime. And at the same time, security. They provide security for you and engage in the crime at the same time. Next to your neighbors, next to your family members, next to your environment, I should say. Yeah, this is difficult, right? When the time comes when you have to bail yourself out, out of this shit if you do this stuff like this. The time comes when you have to bail yourself out of this shit. And if you look at the maximum, optimal solution to, at the same time, get rid of somebody here and there. And proclaim yourself as useful in a case, despite causing enormous, tremendous harm. That's what I was referring to a little bit earlier when I stayed in London. And at the end of this here, before I'm going to head upstairs, I'm going to also explain to you what exactly means harmful in a way but now i'm here to talk about this car about this engine so we i already gave you a certain scenario now that scenario is off the table because it was a mechanic here who was heavily involved in mk ultra this man who came he heavily was involved in mk ultra this guy came under the knife because i constantly mentioned him I liked him, and as such, he became a target in this business. What exactly that means? Well, what exactly that means is a pretty simple for me to repeat, a pretty simple for me to remind people from this village involved. And I'm going to step a little bit outside because it's still not about the car. What that means is that there is a Serb that moved inside of the village. It's actually right toward the end of this village now. It's a new house. Husband is from Serbia. And the wife, is, excuse me, wife is from Serbia. It should be, I think, even from Belgrade. And the husband, or from some bigger city. And the husband is from Bosnia. And what exactly that means? I have mentioned the new track they have just built behind the village. Well, it's this kind of a track. I already was in at this kind of track. I was in this kind of track already before it was built. Yeah, this is this is this is when they brand you with as a paranoid schizophrenic. You have no idea for what kind of stuff they are looking for. And when they no longer can brand you as a paranoid schizophrenic, they look for the way out, boy, uh, and like you have no idea. But if I would go in a category of a paranoid schizophrenic, according to which they classified me in 2013, they openly pushed me in a category of paranoid schizophrenic. That's why I'm not going to let this go. I would be... I would be, I have no idea what the fuck I would be. Now, the first time the road like this behind the village, I have seen sometimes, that probably the year was sometimes in 2004, I would say. So that must have been a long time ago, about 18 years, it was in Ljubljana. If we go back to the, Bo uh, to the Bosnian Serb and his wife, uh, from Serbia, that's probably the best way to say, although I think she's really from Belgrade. And I, I should see the map and talk about that stuff, so I did identify her. Um, they took me on a visitation to his uh, husband, to Serbia. And yeah, that's why I saw this road behind the village. This road did not exist at the time, but it was this village that had 
more or less, uh, yeah, a landscape. Mm. Landscape very, very similar to this village here. And they did, they placed the asphalt and they put the same lights. But that's actually the village right next to the village of her husband. We would travel to Bosnia to where they would take me. And it would be what appeared to me a people from the village, from this village here. That bitched me. They were violent, harassed me. Ah, well, you see, this is where things get truly, truly, truly complicated. It was not the people from the village. The police officer, Method Yerman, told me in year 1999, 1998, he bitched me. He was really, really angry. This was a police, this was a police officer. And excuse me, I think my mother wants to go inside. Funny, because I opened it and there was nobody. Uh, you bitch, you this, you that. Uh, and I had no idea what they were talking about. Drugged up, brought from the US, ab abducted, hijacked. I have no fucking idea what they were talking about. He was required to give his facial profile to Slovenian government which supplied Serbs Belgrade with a mask it was a must to do they have to sign and so they would have literally silicon masks they could use well but sometimes in 2000 and uh, 2002 they had a few people already from the village I was told that they had to give this silicon masks so this kind of MK Ultra torture uh, that would remind of literally people from the village already in other parts of Balkans and Serbia and Bosnian part of uh, Serbian part of Bosnia would trigger brainwash so when I found myself in that village literally surrounded with the people in the Bosnia from this village here, from my village here, and they were coming in the face. And there was violence here in this village a lot. Uh, it's actually, you could say it felt indifferent, but still was different. That was not the only location this have happened to the Serbs utilized. Um, it could be really, really confusing about what the fuck went on. So I'm just trying to give you an idea how deep, deep, deep involved this whole village is. This mechanic who was yesterday here, he had a lot of hard time. I, I don't know how far they got him into this stuff. Uh, however, he was afraid, is what I'm trying to say. The mechanic, the maintenance mechanic, the guy here from this, uh, uh, from the general hospital here in Nova Mesta, who maintained this um, ambulance vehicles and stuff. Uh, this guy would not want to go out there and be seen as somebody who would come here like a cowboy and say, hey, man. Uh, it's this, 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 and this. Yeah, you understand? Well, but he did something. He's a professional. All through, he's not certified to give his opinion for the court, you know, to write professional uh, for court validation. So the court would take in account whatever he stated. This guy, undisputably, this is a mechanic, uh, and um, uh, no mechanic out there would actually go and dispute this statement of his. It would be nobody, no, no mechanic would go and say, hey, you know, it's not, this is not, uh, and so on and so forth. You know, there's no mechanic that would go and actually dispute this stuff. 
because of what I'm explaining to you next. Hey, there, there will be still people at this point, some mechanics who would say, yeah, I would, I would. Yeah, sure, I would too. Because till you actually open the engine, you still don't know exactly what's going on. But I'll tell you what exactly is going on. And there's also somebody else that, that hoped would dispute this shit before it would even get to the court. Before it would even get to the court. So the court... Before I before this would even get out of court, I would have a real fucking problem. Now that's really complicated. At the court, before this would get at the court, I would have really, really, really a big problem. Yes. 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 There's this fucking mechanics. Death can prove you wrong no matter what. If you want to get this to the court, you guys still got a higher mechanic who's going to come and actually validate his statement as per officially certifying write a letter down and that in fact this is so for the attorney to represent you at the court or if you like for yourself to represent yourself at the court so that this actually is a damage it's inspected visible you know like you go to a physician or whatever and write you a prescription or whatever for whatever symptoms and so on uh, and so that the judge would take this in account and basically sign a word you with uh, you know w w for the damages and then there, there is some somebody else okay so the first thing this is not the done deal yet now what's what was the done deal in this case here is that there's a little paragraph and in the part number three i'm gonna go i'm gonna translate in english his his uh conversation we had literally i'm gonna go and translate this in english he states there's a portion of the this uh, gasket um seal that actually can be seen uh, is leaking from this stuff. However, he is very articulate. He goes on to justify this, that this is normal with the cars with a, such a high mileage. This is not even high mileage. It's 220,000 kilometers, not miles. What you're talking about, I have no... 135,000 miles probably on a two liter Citroen engine is actually nothing if this car is probably would be maintained without damage this car could probably easily run up to 500,000 kilometers with nothing so I don't know what this is a Citroen is a very high quality engines these are all two liter engines diesel engines that just go man um, that's one part he have done for me so that he justified what i have written on the new side as per gasket damage you know for you to understand he justified that stuff however there is that other part this is why we have this video and that's how why i started upstairs with the power banks with the batteries with the mp3 player which I plugged into, into this uh, factory, um, um, what is it, uh, this adapter that you use, that you plug one in, charger if you like. And the only thing that happened was basically the, before I even plug one inside, I saw that uh, it was like a fucking spark that jumped on a, on a fucking, uh, on this mp3 player it was just boom and that was it man in my hands literally shit it, it scared the shit out of me never had anything like this in my life yet okay there is somebody else that would want that certified mechanic who can give the opinion for the court to see things very very different because of the power bank bank power banks because of those battery chargers uh, all other stuff that i stated and not because 
he would want to dispute me but because Fields has a chance to negotiate through the London that's a police that's a police that is why the shit is so complicated how well let me explain something what exactly would have happened if mechanic comes now here I even pay him out of my pocket and he'll say no sir you know what there's actually no damage to the seal there's actually no damage that's been done to the car somebody simply have spilled the oil all over the engine well there is some other paragraph that the gentleman from the village who was here a mechanic maintenance guy at Novo Master General Hospital have stated the car has a sufficient amount of oil inside the oil which is blown as I'm gonna demonstrate you all over the engine however also is not mixed with a cooling liquid which the case is oftentimes when the head when the head gasket is blown now do you understand me usually you would have a lack of oil usually you could even have a mixture of the oil with a cooling liquid <laughs> but impossibly impossibly would you have a sufficient amount of oil inside of the engine and I'm going to translate to you again his visitation talk our talk never would you have the sufficient amount of oil that one would not be at least mixed with cooling liquid unless of course you would ex add extra oil inside of the engine and the engine would because of overwhelming amount of oil blow one out on its own however during the recording which i have made during my friend mechanic his last visitation here he assured me that just was not the case because he had seen it he had visually inspected that just was not the case again we go back to what i have previously pointed out most likely is what he stated that he had already spotted certain area where that uh is leaking that oil is leaking out now do you understand how fucked up this is well before i would even get to the judge i would pay out of the pocket for the visit of the mechanic and the only thing that's going to happen that would happen next yes i would go and announce on maybe my new site that mechanic stated me i alone could actually not i alone but somebody else poured oil all over the engine so that it would look like a blown head gasket so now that is really, really fucked up because that actually classifies you into yet another mental illness area uh, i would have to go and see that kind of stuff this person that is inflicting uh harm damage to himself deliberately so he gets attention from the people you know the power banks the batteries all that shit no 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 the police would not go for that because in my case for the difference of other cases 
I have, I don't know, published thousand proofs about existence, actual existence of this MK Ultra case. No, 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 but that shit bothers me. The London bothers me. The London that is trying to bail people who ruined my life out of the problems. You see, I'm very thorough, I'm very detailed about absolutely everything. And when I get to this stuff, when you get me into this stuff, and we're going to get into the bottom of it. By the way, yesterday I have met was a cousin, I think. That's how he presented her. I don't know if she really is cousin, but she has a kind of facial similarities with a police officer. I have met at a police station. It's this police officer alone stated me. It's all going to be depending on how you're going to treat her when you meet her. She was involved in case. I mentioned her in previous video. But this is going to that other scenario. It's a scenario from London. And it's making things for me, I'm not going to say rather complicated, but completely unacceptable. It's a trouble. I don't see myself eye to eye with the people that refuse to do their duties, refuse to do their job. People who actually represented Milan Kucha and Borut Pahor in crime against me. I was, this was a fucking right hand of these people here from the police, from these directors. This was actually a role model as uh, Ogulin presented one to other police officers. The Ogulin stated, this is the guy who's going to save me for this police officer. This is not easy. This is complicated. It's 28 years. It's not a regular, just regular thing that you think I'm going to let somebody to decide about it. I don't do this. I don't do this kind of stuff. When yesterday this lady approached to me and I was trying to talk to her and to her husband, he's from other part of Slovenia, the state from Maribor, and his father was involved and he's got brother. They didn't give me much time. They just rushed through, which is fine with me. I didn't say goodbye to them or whatever. Fuck that. You know what crossed my mind? exhibitionism this is a fucking exhibitionism when i asked them if where they uh, recall how recall this where do i know you found this and that which is also the case with other people was the case they it didn't come through through their mind they probably have mistaken them and so on not that these people would have something bad to me they did not <laughs> the people that are up there to save somebody or the people that were out there to promote certain political agenda, the government made them sure they would not cross my patterns. They rather have a bunch of other people do bad stuff and a person that was important to them, they would, they would play important, they selected one to play important role in my case so that I would rank him higher so that I would see him I basically what exactly what the fuck I promote hello where do we know each other from have I seen you somewhere I don't remember you it was actually frequently used to give me a chance to point out and even get recognition from people yeah it is true even this you could hear in my in those recordings seldomly Extremely fucking seldomly. I'm not real. We don't know where we know each other from. I don't know where you know. How do you remember me? Where do you know me from? Well, if I say the magic word Milan Kuchen or Borat Pahor or Tanya Fayon, none of these people that interacted with me involved in MK Ultra would say they don't know who the fuck they are. So I don't exist enough 
for these people to come here at home? All of these people that were involved in this, and I'm not going to say every person was involved in torture, beatings, abuse, because everyone was not. There were people who reserved the right to not. Did not profit anything, didn't get any free tickets, free rights, free uh, discount of real estate, jobs, or I should say, uh, were promoted at work, got higher pay, or even got jobs. People were doing shit, bad stuff, very, very bad stuff, just for the work. It was a whole variety of the people involved in this stuff. Well, when it comes to other countries, ladies and gentlemen, I don't give a shit. If you're from Germany uh, and you were doing this kind of stuff, I, or let's say France, or let's say from Italy, or let's say from Spain, or let's say from the US, or let's say from Scandinavia, or let's say Japan, or let's say South America, or I have no clue. I'm fine with it. You don't intersect my, you don't, you're not my problem, you understand? You're not my problem. You're not my problem. But this fucking problem, this MK Ultra, what they refer to as MK Ultra, is a fucking political thing. You understand? This was more political thing than a stunt that these politicians who sworn in to assist Russia, Putin, Belgrade, Serbia, to recreate the Soviet Union, to recreate bigger uh, Serbian, actually ex-Yugoslavia, that's a greater Serbian Chetnik state, have anticipated will do exactly through this case. You're not my problem if you're from there. Don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, I'll go with you. I'll go whichever way you want me to work and help you out, you understand? Because I'm getting in your uh, state affairs. But i would be fucking damn if I'm gonna allow you to get into my business. You don't understand anything about me. My business, my political career, started in a fucking kindergarten you get it i was five years old when this shit took off and the name of the country was another one i'm not gonna say that people don't appreciate today the fact i stated the people are not aware in a great sense but sure enough my enemy is not gonna take advantage through me through the words like, I don't know you. We, I don't know where we met. We don't actually know each other. You know, basically, you know what exhibitionists do. Exhibitionists is a person that goes out there and, I don't know, we'll take uh, some kind of coat off, let's say, clothing off in front of uh, some somebody. Now, it could be a man or lady to, to just get the reaction shock and it could turn into a stalking and with idea to mentally destroy a person unless one would report one to the authorities and eventually obtain, uh, you know, I don't even know how you say that right now in English, all right? prohibition to approach or whatever. It doesn't work for me this way. Uh, I got mine. I was the one uh, who identified people at times uh, before they even approached me. Sometimes I was lucky like that. So I'm not doing this anymore here in the surroundings with the neighbors and with the uh, with my family and uh, with the people here from uh, from the Novo Mesto, from, from this, I'm not fucking doing that no more. I'm not doing this shit no more. Tell me who I am. I'm not doing that kind of stuff anymore. I am still willing to do this for somebody that comes from abroad, from far away. 
because to me it means to person a great deal to see me to do something for me for what he got whatever and give something in return that's how I see it I don't even see this as a necessary as a political stunt or something assistance or something like that I'm 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 actually abstaining I'm actually distancing myself from involving people from abroad into uh, some kind of political uh, issue in respect to this case I don't want to do this but I'm not gonna allow this shit anymore this is the second year here in Slovenia after I identifying so many people you're gonna fucking come and exhibition yourself in front of me yesterday so several people that were not very nice people on that MK Ultra and were there to actually trigger the memories on abuse on death threats or all kinds of fucking threats the exhibitionists so you know when you come to me and you approach to me and you say that you don't fucking know me that you don't remember me that you don't recall me think about what the fuck I stated if you're from around here you didn't even pay respect to appear yourself in front of this home and say sir we know you we know who you are we know what you have gone through. Now, sir, you watch me going a little through the mental hospital shit. You haven't done for me a fucking thing, I'm going to tell you straight right now. And that's a bad news, because I don't like exhibitionists. So with this moment on here in Slovenia, as far as this stuff, let it stay like this. You don't know me. You, don't, you have never seen me. But you know Milan Kuchan. You know Tanya Fayon. You know Danilo Turk, you know Bort Pavra, you know those people, you always knew them. Even when here was this greater Serbian Chetnik state, Soviet Union like nightmare. Don't do that stuff no more to me. Don't, don't embarrass me like this no more. Don't come to me anymore with stuff like that. Don't approach to me no more like this, with this kind of stuff. This deal, this is a great deal to me. They did not manage to provoke me. They did not manage to provoke me, not through my father, through his hospitalization. The neighbor here I have spoken with the other day, who started to instigate on my mental illness in the middle of the very friendly, as much as possibly friendly, conversation I gave one but which conversation somehow approximated to the one with the mechanic who inspected this car because they both have some sort of health problem one with a leg another one with a tick here I'm gonna stop because one Never was anything to me other than what I stated, the exhibitionist, that's the one right here across the street, who actually fortified crime by insisting me how I'm going to go off when he meets me and harass me with this kind of mental illness related question. And the other man, as I said, is just somebody who always was out there to help me out. But was not either sober enough to understand what the difference is between him and this guy or was trying to make him a favor. Uh, it's this kind of attitude that suggests that I am like an infantile idiot with whom you can do just about anything you want literally through the exorcism you will fucking not you're wrong about me to me every little thing matters much much more than what you think and i'm gonna get my things done and that's i told you something already in 95 with or without you the car i'm gonna go i'm gonna inspect one right in front of you so you can see the quality of the oil you can see the level of the oil the car has been here it's not been running that's a proper ladies and gentlemen oil inspection 
and we're also going to see the quality of the oil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in front of the computer and we're going to do the rest of it. The rest of the stuff I'm going to communicate and explain to you how they imagine and what, what else they imagine to come out of this shit. According to the police officer, there was another police officer who was involved in this. This guy was the first one who had a university degree. Come on. When this shit started, not everybody inside of the investigators department at Nalomesto police had university degree. Now this was I think like a second guy that had like university degree and was like a quiet uh, really right hand of this uh, first uh, police director whom afterwards two other directors have replaced. That guy left in 2001. Hmm, that's loud. The other guy, I think, I'm not even sure, after creating an accident in Ljubljana, his friend, he attempted to cover up with his friend. That was Anton Olai. Almost was thrown out of the police. But was not. It was Jana Zogolin who replaced him as a director of police. And because of Milan Kucha and I should say Borut Pahru, whom these people have served best of their abilities, Anton Olai eventually got even, pro rather than be thrown out of the police, he got promoted into a chief of the police in Slovenia. Now he retired. Why would I go and just give a chance anyone to get away with this stuff the way they want? Why would I go to the court even or be taken even to the court, meet the judge and negotiate in private with the people who ruined my life as per we will, however, recognize this if you do this and this and that. I don't do that shit. Sorry, this is not uh, this is not the stuff I do. Yeah, you understand now. You probably understand why this stuff is so important to me. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, brighten up a little bit the engine. Uh, we'll position this. We'll try to position this on the engine, uh, and then you're gonna be able to see this with me in front of me. Uh, you're going to inspect with me this oil. You're going to be able to see exactly what um, okay, so I don't have to actually do that, so it's not really bright of me. No, actually it only goes that much. Uh, this here like this it's what it looks now interesting mechanic suggested that there is not much oil yeah there was a lot of oil under the car you ever you were able to see those spots that, that was a lot of oil that was at least the oil under the car I estimate all this stuff here that was blown out uh, easily would go to at least like uh, half a liter liquid that I'm pretty damn sure about. Uh, and to me, that's that's like a lot of oil. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. Of course, I'm going to take a little... And I got to make sure that you... Well, I don't even, I don't actually know what. Uh, I just, I'm going to take a little, little cloth here that I'm, and uh, 
Well, and you can go this way too. We've got some uh, dipstick here. A clean one like this. That's a, such an easy way to see what the hell goes on. I uh, imagine that this would be to the end here, the second mark here, and this should be somewhere in the middle. That would be a normal. You know, for this, I uh, will take you with me. And we're gonna dip into right inside in here this stick here like this we go down and we pull this out the engine of course it's not hot the engine of course is not hot the engine is didn't run already for a very very long time and I can tell you, yeah, I can I can come to conclusion that huh, it's probably even more oil than what it should be, which is like then it comes to then it comes to really uh, abrasive, um, actually viscosity related oil stuff that I really. I am unsure. I am unsure. Um, let's do this again. Yeah, I would actually rate the oil above the um, above the level uh, I would actually even go here and I would actually say well let me make sure that you see this here and uh, one two three now I can already hear Scotty Kilmer is saying no way this is either gotta be that somebody did pour it inside of your engine and the glasses i don't damn see with them too damn good uh a cooling liquid therefore a mixture of cooling liquid and oil or there was just too much oil. Uh, actually, it comes up to. Hmm. I'm gonna indicate you with a hand. This I'm not doing too well with that stuff. I can do this also a little different. Make this video come true. It's possible. Zook. Oh, there you go. Okay. So I, I wasn't doing this too well. Okay, so we go here. Dig, 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 dig. I take the dip. Stick out. Uh, and what do we see here? Uh, for that matter, we're going to do it like this, so that it will not zoom. And that's basically what we see. We see a bow, what should be the level. And I'll tell you that um, A viscosity of the oil already when I see that that's dripping so fast and so on it's to me this is kind of fast dripping well, let me let me really pay yeah to me uh, the oil is based on my knowledge the oil itself is dripping a little bit fast so there, there could be actually this element of 
mixture inside uh, of oil and that coolant liquid. Well, I don't know, but this is actually what makes things, I'm not going to say interesting, but really, really, really tricky. Because it's that familiar stuff that police, yeah, but it, this is, this is more, it's more oily than not. You know, uh, it's more oily than not uh, in, the, in this decision process making, I'm going to say that the way I see it, the way I see this stuff, I don't know. The mechanic who visited me stated that this is oil. Uh, it's totally, it's totally oil and nothing else. I, however, could have uh, a second doubt about it. Uh, one thing, however, is definite: the police again have placed itself in a row where they could be deciding on a court uh, not that even I would take them to the court it would be enough that I would publish that I would have somebody that would come here and say you know This is just a man-made that somebody poured oil all over the place. They positioned, they, they clearly have positioned themselves in that role. Uh, my mother calls me as mentally ill. And so, yeah, this easily could go to the court. And then you would have me on the court to either settle for something or basically be ran over, destroyed. Uh, not really in that sense anymore. I was even told by Americans that if you point out for every individual uh, as per who brainwashed with what and uh, they didn't even mention the proofs and stuff like this, uh, but still, I'm not in a holiday mood. I'm not in a, into exhibitionism. I'm not into sadism. I'm not into sadistic stuff. Um, Police officers, the man that I insisted was like the second guy that had a degree in this department. Uh, that was the most qualified, this guy. This was like the longest, the most qualified guy with a degree in a criminal justice or whatever. Uh, he told me in year... What the fuck was the year? Now that's an important thing too. I think this all this shit went on in 2012, absolutely, I would say. Before they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital, he told me, which they did in 2013. That I'm going to save them. 
you know, that I will be the one who's going to save them uh, exactly what I stated right here. What uh, he further suggested me that there is nothing wrong with the car. This actually is going to be a good car. But that I shouldn't have one. And have used my mother to, what do you say, reiterate that this will be an old vehicle and we don't want to have an old vehicle in the house and stuff like this. That kind of stuff. It was like the police officer who sold me this car, this female veteran police officer. Her son instigated how he already has all the parts that are needed to completely repair. This is this is this is actually a sticker that belongs to this Vet Slovenian Police Veteran Association. Sever. You see there. Steirska region. It's uh, very meticulous. Demanded for me to put the car inside of the garage. Uh, they heard a whole fucking bullshit about if you're going to put one outside for I don't know how long. I'm not going to want one one back anymore. You don't know how how fast the interior destroyed uh, itself on a sun. Uh, you know, I remember when I told you about how they were pushing the car inside and that kind of stuff. And it goes again to London. If you would be able to push the car inside. If you would create a platform. And be capable to push the car inside. There is some kind of reward from American truckers, uh, Canadian Ice Truckers Association, not truckers, truckers. This is a very heavy car, by the way. This is not, and it's a slope here. This is a slope, and then it's this edge here. That, that's the bullshit they were playing with. That's the kind of stuff they were playing with. To me, however, this exhibitionism is not a game. This is not a joy. It's a political thing. More than is it of anything else. It was intended to not to look political. It was intended to create some kind of international happy day holiday. But it actually really, really turned ugly for me. Too damn ugly to let people go. Too damn ugly to let people get away. Even one car seat was thrown on a rain, left to become moldy. Uh, they played with a similar seat on the MK Ultra. It was from the car I imported from the U.S. My Mazda Protege. He insisted me how I should, under no circumstances, use one because it's a mold and it's going to go to other areas. The man she is with, another part, he insisted me they already have one and that kind of stuff. Um... It was all kinds of stuff like this, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, it was all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, and as I stated, no, 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 no. This is not anymore about... This is not about whether this stuff did happen or not. This is about now completely other issues. And for me, this is just a little early even neighbor came out here. This is, whether you like it or not, I don't know how much you're a fan of this stuff. This is of a political nature. And uh, can't help myself to think that exhibitionists is how I call you guys because you had really plenty enough time 
if I collected more than enough proofs. Actually, you did, because you also recorded me whenever I approached you, whoever you are. Um, but what I exposed online was plenty enough here for Slovenia. If you don't understand this shit that I lost 28 years, you know, fuck you. I don't have anything else to say to you. This is about much more than about exhibitionism. This is going to be about much more about than about exhibitionism. Yes, you can kill me. You can do this, but you can do no less. You understand? You can't do less. It's not going to be for less. You will have exhibitionism that will go on, but you're going to have to kill me for it. Other than that, that I'm going to be negotiated with somebody for the sake of exhibitionism, for the sake of crime. No. Fuck no. No way. Yes, I'm going to have to pay literally uh, for a mechanic. to certify me now that this actually is a damage that is deriving from a broken seal and literally go through the court and even play with the game which they refer to as a good police officer catches bad police officer. In other words, that uh, lady is going to prove evidently that she had car covered completely that was in no problem when it comes to uh, seal. And it's going to be a police, bad police officers that are going to be caught. And, you know, sorry, man, there is no bad, there is no good here in this case. It's just what I stated in this video.